U.S. stocks ended lower on Wednesday but cut earlier losses after investors saw minutes from the Federal Reserve's meeting in July that suggested policymakers may be less aggressive than previously thought when they raise interest rates in September. The markets believe that the Fed is going to continue tightening and talking a certain way, but that they're not going to go any worse or any further than people previously thought. And if the minutes reinforce that we're closer to the end than the beginning, then markets, you know, always price these things in ahead of time. Markets are discounting mechanisms. And so that may very well be how markets are responding to FOMC minutes. Stocks had been down more sharply ahead of the minutes with growth shares such as Amazon and chipmaker NVIDIA coming under pressure as bond yields rose. So at our firm, we really are avoiding the big fang names right now that you talk about mega cap. Obviously, Apple and Meta and Google are gigantic. And we've avoided those 60, 70 percent drops that happened in Netflix and Meta. And there were pretty big drops, not as bad in Apple, but pretty big in, in Google and, and so forth as well. Our focus in technology right now is in older tech companies, they, uh, the Intels and, and Cisco, who's going to report their earnings after hours today, IBM. These are older companies. They don't have as high of a growth rate, but they have really great cash flow generation and are much lower valuations. And we think they're better bargains. And of course, they're great dividend payers and dividend growers. It's been such a wild ride up for markets as of late that there's been a bit of downside volatility. I think that the aftermath of the Target announcement just sort of brought back some of the economic slowdown realities and, and markets need to breathe a little. It's been quite a rally over the last several weeks. Three months ago, you had a series of large retailers, Walmart, Target, Kohl's, and others all report at once that they were stuck with a lot of excess inventory and the margins were starting to come down. And what was at the time believed to be the early innings of a story about a potentially suffering U.S. consumer and maybe even global consumer. Um, you fast forward a few months and this week, Walmart reported numbers and the stock was up 6%. They had a huge rally. They said, yeah, things are still slowing a bit, but they had positive growth in same store sales. Margins were strong. E-commerce was strong. Um, and they had started to right the wrong of their inventory management. Today, Target came out and did not repeat Walmart's success story. They sort of reiterated ongoing struggles. So I think both the global economy and domestic U.S. economy are trying to wrestle with where exactly the consumer is. And there's conflicting data right now that adds to volatility.